Zane gets first question. First question. Now, Zane likes to play off everybody else. Let's not kid ourselves. He's not a guy that steps right out there up front. Usually Zane kind of, I'm not sure I have a question, but if I do, I'm going to wait till the end. That's usually his M.O. What do you mean I cut you deep? It's true. Come on, Ash. It is. It is. Zane plays off everybody else. I was going to end with this question, but I'll start with it. There it is. Good. Change it up. We've got Halloween coming up Saturday. Favorite candy. Favorite candy. Wow. I don't know if I really have it. First of all, there's a lot of really good candy out there. Tried to stop uh, eating as much sweets, get older and fatter. You know, you just don't try to eat as much. But, God, I don't know, $100,000 bar is pretty good. Twix is pretty good. Um, Skittles are good. I mean, yes! everything's good. Yes! Everything's yes! good. I mean, what yes! isn't there? I mean, is there a bad candy? There's some that are better than others, That's but I don't good. know if there's really any bad. Um, I'm not a big coconut guy, so what is that, Mounds or uh, yeah. Almond, Almond Joy, Joy or something yeah. like that? Nah, that's probably not it. But the other stuff, it's kind of hard to, if you put it out there, it's kind of hard. That's what made Halloween so much fun, right? Picking through stuff. So, yeah, there it is. Well, now that we got that out of the way, Coach, <laughs> just kind of talk to us about practice today. Uh, really good sign. You know, I thought our guys responded to a uh, very mediocre practice yesterday. And I just think that's, that's a sign of, of the type of people we have. It's a sign as to the team we have because that's going to happen throughout your life. You're going to have, uh, you know, when you're, you're working and your boss says that's not good enough, you have a choice. Either you say he's wrong or you take the information and change. Uh, you're in a relationship and your partner says, that, that's not the way I deserve to be treated. You have a choice to make. Do I change or do I just keep doing it, you know, average? It happens in all walks of life. Our coaches, when, when talking to our players about, you know, drugs and alcohol and women and uh, trying to create the best version we can of our players and go into class, they either take the information and change um, or they just keep going about their daily routine. Uh, it's a great sign for our guys to understand today it looked and it sounded like it should. Any of them come to you and say, we heard you yesterday? And no, I brought them in today. So I talked to a couple guys today. I've been bringing in guys, some of the younger guys, just visiting with them. But today I brought a couple of the older guys and said, you know, it's one thing to say, uh, you know, that we've been saying this all year. This isn't anything new. But it's, it's one thing to get on the field and then say it. It's another throughout the day. It's another in the locker room. It's another in your meetings. It's another when guys are getting taped. It's another when you're lifting. To say, hey, man, we can't be like that. that. That can't be who we are. You start the message early. It's too late once you get out there. It's, it's too late. You, you can do things and pick it up a little bit, but it's, it's leading into that. You know, it's it's uh, don't don't fear where we're at. Don't tighten up and go, oh my God, it's for six. No, don't don't fear the result. Fear that you're not working hard enough. Fear that okay, I, I don't I don't give it everything I got. Because then you don't get the end result. The, the, the Saturday is a side of Saturday is a byproduct of what you do during the week, and then let it rip, man. Absence of fear and let it rip. If you're not good enough, you're not good enough. But um, regret's a bad thing where you, you just don't put the time and energy into it. And our guys did a great job today. Coach, uh, your defense sitting towards the top of the conference in the sacks has kind of been a, was a problem area the last couple of years. What's helped your uh, team turn it around in that category? First of all, Zane, I want you to know that this is a max number that you've ever asked. Two questions. I'm just letting you know that. <laughs> it's never been two. It's, it's usually it's zero one. or one, so I don't know. must be a pretty special day for it's, you today. It is. But first of all, it's a byproduct of this. We're athletic up front, okay, um, and we've been winning. I mean, you're going to create sacks when they're throwing it. You know, when you're not winning and you're not up in games, you're not going to get that, you know. So that we put people in long yarded situations where we know they've been throwing it. We've been aggressive doing it. Uh, we've covered well. We've been ahead. And teams, when, when we get them in throwing situations, we, we get the guys in there that can get after the quarterback. Piggybacking off that a little bit, a couple of young defensive linemen have played well in recent weeks. Xavier Thickman, Barry Nancy. Um, obviously, you would expect that. Trying to continue there if we're really kind of hitting their stride or That's like getting better. You know, Darian played defensive end in high school and then we moved him to linebacker and then he got big enough, bigger than we thought he'd get. So we thought, you know, we had some guys, uh, you know, Jerry McCorvey went down, we moved Ricky Parks over. We thought, hey, this is probably more natural for him and, and he's done a really good job. Uh, Xavier's come along. Jabori Poole's the same age as uh, 
as a Xavier, just having to play a little bit. So those guys, and Mustafa, who's in his first year, hadn't played in two years. So those guys are just going to continue to get better, your edge guys, along with Dylan Bradley, who's still only in his third year. I mean, these are all guys that either got here when we first got here and didn't redshirt, or they did redshirt, or they're new. You know, it's just it's just trusting in who you evaluate and coach and, you know, bringing Zach in and just, you know, it's just uh, they've gotten a lot better and are going to continue to get better because they're not, none of them are seniors. Growing up, Mustafa, he's one of a few guys that you have or you brought in at one point or another had to take a fall off. Denarius was one, Drew Peterson, I guess, was one. And, but they're, they're playing well. And they're playing really well. Yeah, I mean, they've got ability and they've, they've got want to. You know, I mean, uh, you know, Denarius had to take a fall off but still coached. He loves football. You know, you just watch him play. Drew Peterson loves football. Mustafa had to figure that out. You know, he went through some tough times with his mom, and, and uh, I won't get into that. But then making a decision, I'm ready. I'm ready to give it a shot. And um, he's, he's done a great job. All those guys have done a great job. And that, as I've said for, you know, since I've been here, uh, I mean, at least this year, the guys we got that transferred in, they've all just meshed so well with our team. We've been very fortunate that way that the, the guys that came in and transferred have really, you know, Really been great additions, not only talent-wise, but as people. Anything else?